Well, hello guys and welcome back to Mr. G Physic, the channel that's going to help you to improve your marks in physical sciences from Cree 8 to Cree 12. This is Mr. G and this time we're going to be working also on another question for Cree 11 and 12. But before we move on, don't forget to subscribe for the channel so you can get all the notifications and videos I post on regular basis. This was question to done in the control test in March 2024 in the Northern Cape province and is a, a Newton's law question. So it's relevant for grade 11 and grade 12. But without saying more, we're going to start with the question. This question says a 10 kilogram block is connected to another block of a non mesh M by a light and extensible string or a rough on a rough horizontal surface. When a force of 45 Newton is applied to the 10 kilograms at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal, as shown in the sketch below, the blocks accelerate at 2,5 meters per second square to the left. And here is the sketch. We can add in this case that the acceleration is to the left and equal to 2, meters per second square. That is the acceleration and it's in that direction. Okay, so that is what we can add. We don't know the mass of the second block and we don't know the friction. However, there's friction because they say there is a rough horizontal surface. The, the question say the block of mass M kilograms experiences a constant frictional force of magnitude one Newton um, while moving. So the frictional force of this block, this is M, we don't know that mass, and the frictional force in this specific block is equal to one newton okay so that is known by us question 2.1 draw a label free body diagram indicating all the forces acting on the 10 kilogram block while it is accelerating so we have to draw the free body diagram but before we do that let's have a quick force diagram on the block note that is not the question that is just going to help us so what forces are acting there there is the applied force that you can actually see and is pointing at 30 degree to the horizontal that is the applied force which is equal to 45 newton there is the normal force which is pointing straight upward because the block is on a horizontal surface perpendicular to the surface there is weight i'm going to draw it um, on this side here you starting from the center of the block so that is weight okay there is friction there is the tension on the string and those are the forces acting on that block. On the other block, we have then the tension pointing to the front. We have the normal force. We have weight. And we have frictional force. Those are the forces acting on both blocks. Okay, so now we can go and draw the free body diagram for the question that they're asking. And this is question 2.1. So the object is going to be a dot. Remember that one. And then on that dot, we're going to draw all the forces acting from the dot. So the first one is the applied force, which forms an angle with the um, horizontal. This is the applied force. Second, we have normal force. Let's draw normal force here perpendicular to the surface in this case is upward we have weight which is straight down this one is weight and we have friction and we have tension they both can be drawn along the same line as long as you can see the um, head of each of them Alternatively, you can draw one top, one at the bottom. Let's do it like that. I see most of you like to do it in that way. So you can draw like friction here. And then right a little bit on top, you can draw tension. The correct way is to do it along the same line. That would be the correct way to do it, okay? And this one is for the 10 kilogram block. For 10 kg. That was the question, okay? Now, they don't ask, but we can do it for M in case at the time they ask for that one. So what forces are acting for M? We have the tension to the front. 
we have the normal force, we have weight, and we have friction. Those are the forces acting on the block M. Okay, so guys, this is the free body diagram for both blocks um, in this specific situation. If you do that, you'll get one mark per force. There will be mar well, one mark per force, therefore there are five marks in this specific question. Now, the next question say define the term normal force. All right, so what is normal? Normal is a force or the component of a force which with the surface a certain an object which is in contact with and which is perpendicular to the surface. There are important parts here. Perpendicular to the surface is important. Force which with a surface a certain an object is also important. If you say that, everything they you'll get to mark. It's a definition and definitions are quite simple, guys. Now, question 2.3, recalculate the magnitude of the normal force acting on the 10 kilogram block. And for this one, we go there next to the free body diagram. And here's our free body diagram. It's exactly the same one. I just rewrite it here. Now, what I'm going to add is the axis. You don't have to, guys. I like the axis. I always mention that one, but I don't, you don't have to do it. So we have the X axis. This is the X axis and this one is the Y axis. Now, in this drawing, I'm going to break the applied force into components. Remember, you break forces into components if the force is not on any of the axes. This one is the applied force in the X axis, the component of the applied force. And then you also break it into the Y component. And you will have here what we call the component of the applied force in the y axis okay i'm not going to write fa f in y and if you want we can add the angle this angle here was 30 degrees what well, now is a more complete free body diagram with all the components and everything we need now in this question they ask you to calculate the normal guys note the following the normal is in the y axis so that is why we have to come here and work in the y axis now the correct way to do it is to use newton first law because the object is not moving in the y axis so the correct way is to say that f net is equal to zero okay we're working in the y-axis we are going to say up is positive all right and if up is positive we have normal plus the applied force in the y-axis minus weight is equal to zero so now when we rearrange this one we have the normal is going to be equal to weight minus the applied force in why note we don't have the applied force in white now this is the part when we come into the free body diagram once more if the applied force in y is this one it can also be the opposite to the angle you can see this side is equal to this one this one is opposite side so using trick maths and um, this one is going to be the opposite to the 30 degree and therefore you use the sine of theta so we can say that the applied force in y is equal to the product of the applied force multiplied by sine 30 degree this one is simple maths and now the weight we also don't have it but you know weight is the product of mass and acceleration due to gravity. That is the product, the, the formula for weight. Guys, we can substitute both formulas in here. So we are going to have the normal is equal to the product of mg minus the applied force sine 30 degree. And now we have everything. The rest is to substitute the numerical value. Is going to be let's write 75 comma 5 newton that is the normal force for that specific question so if you answer this one 
the marks that you would get will be one for starting from this point here you can get one mark for any of this one any of those will give you one mark you'll get one mark for the substitution of the 10 multiplied by 9,8 and you get one mark for the substitution of the 45 sine 30 and you'll get one mark for the final answer this one is the marking here you'll get four mark for this specific question now the next question say the coefficient of kinetic friction between the 10 kilogram block and the surface is 0 0.125 and um while the m kilogram blocks experience a frictional force of one newton they already spoke about the frictional force of one newton there okay calculate the unknown mass of block m so all we have to do is to calculate the mass for this block for this work we are going to work simultaneous we have to work with the both blocks um, at the same time now here the coefficient is given to us it's a new data that we didn't have previously that is the kinetic coefficient of friction here which is 0 0.125 so we're going to stop here now we're going to start with working simultaneously so we're going to start by having the free body diagram of block m so we're going to start this time with m so this one is 4 m this is block m i'm going to start with this one because the question is about block m guys this one is the free body diagram we already done it remember this one is the x axis and this one is the y axis this one is quite simple because you don't have components in here okay so we are going to apply newton's second law for this specific block f net is equal to m a now why am i applying Newton's second law to this block first because the question is asking about m so I'm going to start with m so I'm going to take the direction of motion as positive and then it be to the left as positive okay left is positive and then saying that tension is positive the only two forces acting in the x-axis is tension and friction so if I come here I have tension plus friction is equal to m8 all right but remember left is positive i'm going to substitute the um the things i know here so i have tension which is positive minus one newton which is the frictional force of this block equal to m which i don't know multiplied by the acceleration which is also given to us and is 2 comma 5 and then I cannot go further because I have two unknown here. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to call this one equation one. All right, that's it. Now I'm going to do the same for the uh, second block or for the first block in this case, which was the 10 kilogram block. So I'm going to work for the 10 kilogram block. Same story, I don't have to do the free body diagram because it's already done here. All I'm going to do is to highlight the x-axis. I'm working with the x-axis this time. So I'm going to apply Newton's second law once more. I'm going to say Newton's second law is F net equal to MA. I'm working in x. In x-axis so I'm going to say left is still positive okay so for both blocks because the object is moving to the left I have in this case that is the applied force in X plus the tension plus friction equal to ma now note the following I don't have the friction they don't give us the friction they give us the kinetic frictional the, the coefficient of the kinetic frictional force so how do I calculate friction frictional force in this case is kinetic is equal to kinetic coefficient of friction multiplied by normal guys we already did calculate the normal so you may calculate the frictional force at this specific point here if you want this one is equal to 0 comma 1 to 5 multiplied by the normal which we did calculate previously 75,5 75,5 and then you will get that the frictional force is going to be equal to 9,4 4 
neutron. That is the frictional force. Now we may substitute. Now we are going to substitute the numbers. However, you still don't have the applied force in X. Now, the applied force in X, if we go to the free body diagram, will be the horizontal component. This one is, guys, not other thing than the adjacent side to the angle. So in this case, we are going to know that the applied force in X is equal to the product of applied force multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. So we're going to come here and we can calculate it separated or you can substitute it in the formula. It's entirely up to you. This one is the applied force in X is equal to the product of applied force multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. If we substitute, we have that is 45 cosine 30 degrees and that will be 38 comma 97 newton there we have the component so now we have all the possible values we can get we are going to substitute all those values here so we have that is 38 comma 97 positive because it's to the left okay minus t because t is pointing to the right let's go to the free body diagram there you can see t there pointing to the right the four is negative i say left is positive okay minus frictional force which is equal to nine comma four four equal to the mass is going to be 10 and the acceleration is given to us and is uh, two comma five then we can calculate we can go further Guys, the rest is to substitute this value in equation one. We didn't have to go simultaneous. So we come here, we have the T minus one is equal to M multiplied by two comma five. We substitute T, which is four comma five three minus one is equal to M multiplied by two comma five. And the rest is simple mathematics. Okay. So M is equal to 3,53 divided by 2,5. We get that the mass of the block was equal to 1,412 kilograms. Guys, this is the end. Now, where are the marks allocated in this question? One for applying Newton's second law to either block. Okay, one for this calculation and substitution then one for the substitution and calculation of the frictional force as you can see it there as you can see it and then one for the substitution of the 10 multiplied by the 2,5 one by the substitution of 4,5 1 minus 1 when you substitute the tension there and one for the final answer those are the one two three for five and six mark for this long question but it's quite simple to get marked guys this is all for now thank you for watching i hope it helps if it helped thumb up subscribe for the channel like the the, the the video comment and share and i'll see you next time mr g